So uh, let's take a quick look at how to export from Premiere Pro 2025. I'm going to hit Command M on my keyboard, and that's going to open up the export panel. If you don't want to do that, if you're not a uh, shortcut kind of person, then go up to the export tab at the top, and then this is where we're going to live for the moment. We're going to come here to our file name. We're going to go ahead and change that. And this is Blood Drive Hosa. And then you are going to use the blue section here to determine where you want your video to go. Uh, you can see here mine's going to a folder called Exported Videos. That is where I want it. But if you want to change that, just click that drop down and then click wherever you want it to go. Again, my folder is on my desktop. And the reason I do this is because then it puts everything in one place. It's easy for me to find it. I don't have to go searching for things. The next thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're in H.264. As you can see that I am right here, H.264, not H.264 Blu-ray. And then right now it defaulted to high quality 1080p. A lot of times what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and click match source. And what that's going to do is it's going to make it the size of the sequence, which in this case already was 1920 by 1080p. And it's at 24 frames per second. So it's essentially the same thing, but match source is a good way to make sure that it's the size you want it to be. Just double check uh, and make sure that you're seeing 1920 by 1080. If the number is much larger than that, you're probably in 4K. If it's smaller than that, you're probably in 720. We want our videos in 1920 by 1080. And typically 23.97. Uh, is going to be a good option. After you've done all of that, making sure you got your name, destination, your presets set here, you're going to click export and you're going to wait and it is going to put your video into the location you selected.